Hi friends, welcome to another video. I am Kazel and today I am going to show you how to create a daily planner which you can use every month if you want to. For this tutorial, I am going to use the Keynote app which comes with the iPad. So without further ado, let's begin. Create a new presentation then select choose a theme. For the theme, I will be using the basic white. Let's change the slide size by going to the More option and select Document Setup. Tap the slide size then Custom. I will be using 2048 for the width and 2732 for the height. Then tap Done and then once more. The orientation for this particular digital planner is portrait so if you want it to be in landscape, just reverse the sizes. Then let's access the master slide. We won't be needing these text boxes here, so let's delete them all. The first thing we need to do is to personalize our background and we can do that in the brush icon here. I will be changing the background color to blue. To add some elements, tap the plus icon here and under shape in the basic category, I am choosing the square shape one. And to resize the shape, just drag the nodes here. I will be leaving a little bit of space on the edges so that the background can still be visible. To change the color of this element, just tap the brush icon and under style, tap the fill option. I want to use a gradient effect for the shape so let's do that. You can also change the angle by adjusting this one. Then add the shadow. And also if you want to add a border to the shape, you can do so. And there are also different styles and borders and you can try them all if you want. You can also change the width and color if you don't like the default. So for this planner, I want a space to write down the year and month and the days of the week. So I am adding a simple table for those. To change the number of rows and columns of the table, just tap the circular icons in the lower left corner and on the top right corner. Setting up the spacing and all of that takes a lot of time but if I use a table, the process is faster so I prefer using this method. Although this is in the table format, I still don't want it to look like one so let's remove the borders of the table by tapping on the brush icon and on the cell borders. Let's select the outer border first then select the border style option. Scroll down and select no border. I am adding the year and month on the first two cells and the last one will be the days of the week. You can also change the font style and size by highlighting the text then tapping the brush icon and selecting the attributes that you want to change. Or if you want the entire table to have the same attributes, select all the cells, then tap the brush icon, and then change them from there. For this planner to be used over and over again, no matter the month and year, I am adding some lines here where I can write down the current year and month. This digital planner can be used as a monthly type of planner so I want the days of the month to be linked to a specific page so here I am adding a table where I will be adding the days. The maximum number of days in a month is 31 so I will be using that so that the entire digital planner is versatile. Let's type in all these days.
the last cell in this table is empty so let's remove the borders of those. To do that, select the cell then select the lower border in the option and change the border style to no border. Repeat the process but this time it is on the right border. Let's add another table again and since this digital planner is meant to be used daily, I am adding a space where I can plan my day in a half an hour basis. I am setting the number of rows to 38 and the column to 2. The number of columns is 38 because I want the space to start at 6am to 1am and that is 19 hours and double that is 38. Although it is in a half an hour type of format, I am labeling this part in an hourly format for a cleaner look and just to make things easier. But if you prefer another version, just do so. So as I said, hourly format, so I am merging two cells at a time. Just select the two cells, then tap merge in the option, then add the labels. I added a rounded edge rectangle here and I'm going to change some of its attributes such as the color, shadow, and its borders. Then I'm just gonna copy this one and then paste it twice. The first one is where I will write down my to-do list. For the to-do list, I want to have my three non-negotiables, which if I complete them, then I'm fine for the day. Then the others where I will list down the things I want to get done, but if I don't complete them, that's okay. But if I do, then that is amazing. For this one, it will be where I will write down my scribbles and notes, and for the last one, my meals. You can also add your water intake if you want. The bowl icon that I used here is in the objects category under shapes. So we have completed our overall setup for our digital planner so let's go back to the presentation. 
To add a new slide, just tap the plus icon here and select the master slide that we created. Let's add 30 more slides for a total of 31 slides. Once all the 31 slides have been set, let's go back to the master slide to add the links. The links will be for the dates, so double tap on the date and select link in the option. Day 1 will be linked to slide number 1 and day 2 will be linked to slide number 2 and so on. Once all of the days are linked to their specific slide numbers, let's go back to the presentation and let's export this to a PDF file. I'm going to export this directly to GoodNotes but if you want to save it in your files, you can do so. This planner is specifically designed for portrait mode, so I'm going to use it that way. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you have any suggestions or questions, comment them down below and you can check these other videos if you want. Until next time, bye!